Hi everyone! In this video we're going to be covering some really simple ways to make pudding in the microwave that you are able to make a version that has dairy milk, oat milk, soy milk, and almond milk. This recipe is super super simple and comes together very quickly. To begin with we're going to start out with our base of making of a dairy. This recipe is great if you are trying to avoid eating a large number of processed ingredients for your family. So your ingredients are going to be, and they go in the recipe in this order, one half cup of sugar, you want to use regular sugar granulated, a third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, Hershey's is fine, or you can use store brand, three tablespoons of cornstarch, two cups of whole milk, and that's going to impact the flavor, and then two teaspoons of a good quality vanilla extract. So the first step is going to be to mix your cornstarch, sugar, and cocoa powder. The sugar is going to get between those starch granules and that keeps the starch from clumping when you add in your milk later on. So it's really important to mix this together really well. Anytime you're making any sort of recipe that has cornstarch and sugar, this is going to help that out. Then you're going to slowly whisk in your milk and be sure to use a microwave safe container because we are going to be putting this in the microwave later on. If you're using a square container, make sure you get into those corners and get everything out of it. You're going to microwave it for three minutes and then stir it afterwards. You'll notice it gets a little bit thick after each time you microwave it. So then you're going to place it back into the microwave for one minute and stir, repeating this cycle until it's thick. It usually takes about two additions, but you're just going to have to do this as many times as it takes until it gets a little bit thicker. You'll know it's done when it is going to cling to the spoon a little bit. It took us two one minute rounds, but it's going to depend on how powerful your microwave is. So to store this, you're going to pour it into an airtight container and then press some plastic wrap directly on top of it to prevent a scum from forming. Whenever you make a dairy-based product, a scum forms very easily and so this is going to keep that from happening. And then put the lid on. The next little thing we're going to make is an oat milk pudding. And this is great for if you have an allergy to soy or to dairy or to almonds. This is a pretty allergen-free recipe. So in this recipe, you're going to still be using your sugar. If you're vegan, you might want to be careful about what type of sugar that you use because some sugars aren't vegan. We're reducing the cocoa powder to one fourth of a cup and then three tablespoons of cornstarch, two cups of oat milk, and two teaspoons of a high quality vanilla extract. So this is going to follow very much the same procedure as we did last time. You're going to start together your sugar, cornstarch, and cocoa powder, making sure to mix that very well to get in between those starch granules. Slowly stir in your milk, making sure to get into those corners again. Notice I'm using a rubber spatula to get into the corners. This is just to make sure that everything is consistent. Microwave it for three minutes and stir after that. And microwave in one minute interval, stirring after each until thick. You add your vanilla after it's heated because that is going to evaporate if it is an alcohol-based product. So after you add your vanilla, you're going to store it just like you stirred the earlier versions. So now we're going to make the soy milk version of this pudding. Soy is one of the major eight allergens, so it's really important to be aware if you have this allergy before you use soy milk and keep in mind that allergies can develop at any time, so be careful. So once again, um, your ingredients are gonna be your sugar, cocoa powder, cornstarch, soy milk, and vanilla. And 
and we are following the same mixing procedure as the previous puddings. And we are following the same microwaving, stirring, and packaging procedure as we did with the previous puddings as well. Finally, we have our almond milk pudding. And almond milk is also a allergen concern because a large number of people are allergic to tree nuts and so if you're allergic to tree nuts you would be allergic to almond milk so keep that in mind so for this one you're gonna have sugar cocoa powder cornstarch almond milk and vanilla extract And we are following the same mixing procedure once again as we did for the previous puddings. And we are following the same microwaving and storing procedure as we did for the previous puddings as well. So thank you so much for joining us for each of these recipes. I hope these are ones that you can use for your family. These are an awesome way to make dessert that doesn't require a huge commitment without a lot of processed ingredients. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.